Hello, welcome to another training session of DevWare. Uh, today what we're going to go through is the lens shading correction uh, capabilities of DevWare. I'm going to go through two methods. The first one is fully automated via a plugin. And uh, the second that I'll show you is the manual method uh, where the user has to adjust integration and gain themselves. Uh, the, um, I've already started up DevWare as you can see and um, have our, our favorite connected uh, 5140 SOC here, the P111. And as you can see here with this image, it's not a very good looking image. I have the SOC 5140 in a standard light box using a uh, completely white flat field. And um, the idea here is this should be all white. And as you can see, this is uh, kind of these purple and, and uh, blue shadings around there in the middle that's kind of sort of white, not really. Um, this is a standard indication that LSC has not been um, applied to the device. So to get started, what you're going to do is um, start Demo Headboard Tuning Plugin. And, here, and here's the, uh, the button that we have that run all steps. Now before you run this, though, you want to do two things. The first thing you want to do is um, is make sure you have a directory set. By default, this might not be set, but that's as simple as going through browse and setting that. I've just set it to the to the, uh, the C directory. And the next is the label. This is the EEPROM, the label that's stored in the EEPROM. And what you can do there is I'm going to type in factory, since that is the designated uh, name when it's done at the factory. Kind of. Uh, matches there and um, and now we simply have to do run all steps and let this go now the first thing that uh, this plugin is going to do is uh, first thing it did was actually put the sensor in uh, lens calibration mode that's particular width and height as you see here and the next thing it's doing is adjusting exposure and adjusting the color balance I'm going to zoom out, uh, out here a little bit just so we can see this. Now the next step is the most important. It's running through the lens calibration setup and as you see I'm a little behind here. It's going so fast but we have greens here which is good. It means it's successfully a calibrated a lens calibration solution and the color uniformity is good meaning that it found white field all around. And the next thing it did was it saved it to a file here on the C drive under that any file and that's in case you wanted to include it in your any file or use it uh, offline and the other thing it does is it saves it to the EEPROM and we'll uh, we're gonna run a separate utility here in a minute just to see what that looks like now again we can through this button we can disable LSC again and see that um, is that it um, now this change, this color changed a little bit because the the plugin did change integration and gain, but you can see it's still the characteristic uh, blues and purples that you see. And then when LSC is applied, it's pretty much a flat field. Now what I always do is I I stop this and I do a reset because I want the I want the any file to run again and the part to run again. And I do a play and I want to see what it looks like in a sense for real. And there we go. Whoopsie, back here. And now let's look at the graph. And so that's much better as compared if we disable the LSC, you'll see kind of the, the classical fall off there on the sides there where it's curved. And again, if I enable LSC, we have it back. So there's a successful LSC uh, applied. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I run I'm going to run a uh, command line tool called MIPROM. Oops, if I spell it right and do a list. And um, that ran off the screen when I was scroll back up here. And here you see inside the EEPROM is PGA, and uh, with another name for LSC for lens shading correction, and um, in factory. And that's that tag that we used here. So there it's stored in there. Why is that important that we have PGA in factory? That's simple because if we look at the any file, I'm going to do an edit on this any file, and I'm going to search for EEPROM. And here we see that uh, this command here, uh, it's going to go ahead and load up, uh, sorry, it's going to do this call to load up to PGA. And it does a load prom, so it's going to load from the prom the tag of uh, the name PGA and the tag of factory. So when those match, PGA and factory, it's actually going to load that. The A8 is the uh, I2C address of the prom on the Obtina headboard. And so that's what it did. It actually loaded up the PGA from the EEPROM that we stored in there and applied it uh, to the sensor. And that's where we come up with our, our, um, our lens shading correction. All right. So that's the easy way. 
for those of uh, you afraid of robots and, and automation, um, there is a, uh, a manual method of doing this. Um, and uh, what you'll need to do is a little more complicated and not as straightforward. But the first thing you're going to do is you need to um, set the sensor in a mode where this actually becomes uh, highlighted, becomes available for you. And what you do is you look for the, um, this, the uh, preset called uh, Lens Configuration Setup. And, uh, and ca sorry, lens calibration set up, and there it is. So we'll go ahead and select that and do a load. And then you'll see the lens calibration correction is en en enabled. Now, before you do this, though, and if you remember what we did, what the plug-in did, is the first thing you have to do is you're going to have to set integration and gain. So we're going to go here to exposure, and um, it's best to start with green. So we're going to increase this till it's about at the 200 level. And this is the part that's just kind of, uh, it's a pain. I mean, you have to go through here and do this kind of slowly. Again, I, I do the graphs um, and the cumulative um, intensity. I'm going to inch this up little by little. And I kind of overshot a little bit. We'll just go back just a tad. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and boost blue to make that equal. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just going in the center of the, uh, the lens here. And if you select this, you'll see the values. Dock down a little bit. You can always enter it this way. And then red, the same sort of thing. And pretty soon, we're going to get basically the same image that we saw inside the, uh, the, uh, the plug-in for that. And there we go. So right there, smack in the middle, we've got basically a balanced image. Uh, pretty close. And then, um, and now what we're going to do is go back to lens correction, and we're going to do calibrate the lens correction. It's going to go through, and it's finished there. Now what you can do here is you could either save it to the uh, the EEPROM. So we'll do that. And we'll come and go and take a look at it after this. This does take a little bit for it to program. And there it is. Or you can save it as an any file. So here we'll go um, to, uh, let's go to uh, the desktop, and we'll save it as, uh, we'll just save it at that. And there it is. And now if we go back to our, this utility, and I'll do an MI prom list again. Went by very quickly, but you'll notice first of all that there is a second one, PGA Devware. And you notice here you weren't, all, you weren't given the option of uh, that extension there. But again, our other, uh, the first time we did the factory one is, um, is still available. Okay. And if we wanted to, we could, um, we can do is look at the any files that were uh, produced. I'm going to close this up again. I left that open. And here's the first one that uh, was created by the plugin. And you'll see it's a bunch of register writes. Those are the, uh, the PGA registers that are on the sensor that are used by the SOC. And then the Optino LEDs will be the same, pretty close. I don't, I don't know if these numbers are exactly the same, but it's certainly going to run through the same calculations. And there you have it. That's the way that you, um, that you uh, do LSC. Now, one other thing I didn't do that I guess we can do is for, for grins here is let's uh, open up additional presets. And then we'll go ahead and open up that one that we generated through the manual method. And I select that and load it. And there we go. Now we have a nice balanced field. Uh, looks pretty much the same as the other one that we did. The autom automation should be the same. It's the same algorithm. And uh, there you have it. So you are now trained and fully certified to do uh, lens shading correction generation on an Optina sensor.